December the 7th is a day that's important to us because Karen and I will be making a commitment. We'll be making a commitment to both the church budget and to the Our Hope is Built campaign. This gives us a chance to rethink priorities. We're really appreciative of the opportunity to do this. It's important to us. Even though our children have already grown up and we're, we're like some of you, we're enjoying grandchildren now who are not coming to this church, but their roots are here. And as we look out and as I hear next door, as this is being filmed, there's children here and their lives are being formed and uh, they'll carry this experience with them. We think we're called because we're fortunate to already be members of the church. We're a part of this generation and we're looking forward. In some ways we think maybe we have a debt to those that come before us. Even in our lifetimes we have enjoyed the benefits of giving people who have given generously. We think back, uh, Karen and I were sharing, that a stretch in faith for us was when Jessica went to Asbury College. We knew that we could count on God to see us through. We didn't do it without prayer, just as we're entering into this phase of our lives in giving here at the church and for this program. We're committed to, to pray for it. We're committed to give toward it. And we're certainly committed to ask others to participate. And we, we do that now. We are thankful that we're a part of this and that we look forward to, to uh, seeing the joy that, that others will have in becoming givers. Not just of extra change that we may have, but uh, making a serious and sacrificial commitment. It, uh, it may be a stretch for some people and they consider tithing. But let me just tell you that, it's, that we've, we've never lacked because of what we've given away uh, in giving to the church and giving to others and the opportunities I think God places in our paths, those that, that we can meet the needs of. And I encourage you to, to, uh, to step out on faith and to see what God has for you.